Because the world, I have the expectation of they're going to do exactly what they're going to do. And to forgive them is a little bit harder. So, in this thing of forgiveness, there's been a lot of this running around in our ministry lately. And just different people have popped into our lives. And I believe this is a key to some of their stuff. And I believe it's a key to all of our stuff because sin is common to man. That if one of us is struggling with this, we're all struggling with it. Yeah. You see, in the Lord's Prayer it says, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And a lot of us stop there. Hey, heaven on earth, that's great. But give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, past tense, and forgive those who trespass against us, present tense. Huh. It doesn't say forgive those who trespassed against us. It doesn't say forgive those that will trespass against us. It says forgive those that trespass against us. When we hold unforgiveness in our heart, we let those people trespass on us every single day. Because we give them access to our mind, to our soul, and even a little bit to our spirit. You see, our sacrifice is to die to ourselves daily and to die to ourselves. If you're holding if you're holding offense from somebody that trespassed against you and you're holding the bigger thing yourself in unforgiveness for things that you have done, you are living for yourself. You're not living for the kingdom. Because God said, sacrifice yourself daily. You see, when we let people occupy our minds, we're sitting there on the edge of the water, not running forward because we're stuck in where we were. We never got out of the boat. Machine gun rounds are going off around us and we're so worried about us that we're sitting there dying inside of us. And we're not affecting the world around us. We can yell, we can scream, I can shoot my rifle from inside that boat, but until I get on that beach and run to that seawall, I'm stuck. I have to make the steps to make that sacrifice. If I don't, I affect no one. And because I'm affecting no one, or because I'm doing nothing, some part is missing from the plan. We are all part of God's plan. And when we don't step into that because we're frozen through unforgiveness, we're not doing His will, and it affects somebody else. Now, if we don't do what we do, God's not sitting up in there in heaven going, Oh my goodness, superglue's not doing what he's doing. What am I going to do? God's going to work through that, but he would rather work through that through superglue. That's right. Or through Ian. Or through Ray. Or through Clint or Cody or Mo or Melissa. He wants to use us for his ministry of reconciliation. Or Chad. <laughs> Thank you. <That laughs> You're welcome. Good. He wants to use us and he has a plan for us in his ultimate plan. But we have to be willing to put ourselves aside, yes. to lay our lives on the line, and to step out in faith and say, you know what? Yes, sir. Those people that did horrible things to me, they're no longer going to occupy space in my brain so I can move forward. The stuff that I've done to people is no longer going to occupy space in my brain so I can move forward. As long as I'm sitting here holding unforgiveness in my heart for others and for myself, I'm frozen. I'm useless and I'm selfish. And that's the bottom line. We have a, one of the things that when I stepped into ministry, I said, Lord, I'm not going to BS people. I'm only going to tell the truth. Yeah. And that may offend some people. That may hurt your feelings. I don't care. See, I'm out for green bean good. And you'll learn about green bean good. If my son, if I ask him, what do you want for dinner tonight? Do you want green beans or chocolate cake? He's going to want chocolate cake every time. If I give him a steady diet of chocolate cake, what he wants and what he likes and gets instant gratification from, he's going to look like he ate chocolate cake. But if I force him to eat green beans, 
which I know because I'm wiser than he is, that's better for him. In the long run, he may not like him right away. He may get used to him, but he's going to be stronger for it. So I'm interested in green bean good, not chocolate cake good. We're here to be real with people because people have real stuff. And oh yeah, by the way, if you haven't accepted Christ, you haven't even left the recruiter's office. Because this is a battle. This is a battle for the hearts and souls of mankind. We can either be in it or not. You can do all this stuff and stand right on the line of the edge of that battlefield and get ready to come. You know, in Iraq and Afghanistan, you get ready to go inside that door. But if I never go inside the door, there I am. Jamming up everybody else behind me. Because they're ready to go. And I just sit there. And I'm hesitant. And then what happens is, is if I go in that, in that door halfway, everybody dies. You need to be all in or not in. Hot or cold, not lukewarm. This is a battle for the souls of mankind. Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready to step out into the greatest thing, the greatest movement of God that the world has ever known. We can either be in the battle or we can be out of it. That's just the reality of things that are happening. The things that are going to happen in the next days to come are going to be greater than Israel leaving Egypt. Going to be greater than the greatest evangelistic time that the world has ever known when Jonah spoke to the Ninevites. More people came to the Lord than any other time. It'll be greater than Peter at Pentecost where 3,000 people accepted Christ. It'll be greater than the feeding of 5,000. It'll be greater than anything that's ever happened is getting ready to happen now. We are here in the greatest time. You can either be in or out. It's up to you. And if you are in, you can either be frozen and content with your saving yourself or you can join the barrel. Step out on the beach, run to the wall, get under the fire, and do what you're supposed to do. Complete your mission. And with that, the band come up. I'm going to pray real quick. And then if we can.